We are obviously covering the big story of the day, Tropical Storm Elsa. We're only a month into hurricane season, and chances are we'll be talking about mm -hmm. more storms. So it seems like a good idea to brush up on some of the terms we meteorologists like to use and ones I know we get questions about frequently. So click Orlando.com. Sabrina Voles is here now to help us out with that. You can always use a refresher, Julie. When weather teams issue forecasts, they come with certain specifics to help people understand what is happening. In the case of a hurricane, tropical storm, or tropical depression, it usually includes a track forecast cone commonly known as the cone of uncertainty. The cone of uncertainty's main function is to show a tropical system's projected track five days into the future. And within the cone is usually a dot, indicating the forecast position of the storm center, normally at 12 hour intervals. Now here I'm showing you two different ELSA cones as examples, because they're top of mind. So you'll see the cone is more narrow, closer to the present time, and wider the farther out the track project projects. That's because the forecast position error gets larger the longer into the future it gets. The cone doesn't get as wide in instances where the computer models show a lot of agreement in the storm's track. And the opposite is also true. If there's not a lot of agreement in the models, the cone may be very wide. The most important thing to understand, the cone does not tell us about the storm size or specific impacts. Just because you may not be in the cone does not mean you won't get rain or other impacts from the bands of a storm. The cone only shows the potential track of the center of the storm. Another term you may have heard us using, especially in regards to Elsa lately, dirty side of the storm. That is the storm's right front quadrant, which is relative to the motion of the storm. That's where the worst weather will be. On the dirty side, these weather conditions are more likely to occur. We've got higher tornado threat, storm surge along the coast, and strongest wind gusts. Now remember, all parts of the storm are bad, so take them seriously, but do know that the dirty side is just worse. Now, as we continue through this hurricane season, hopefully this information gives you a little bit more guidance, but it's important to remember our experts will be here tracking any systems that pop up and you can always find those updates here on new six click orlando.com and of course our new six hurricane tracker app